Leonardo leads Donatello does machines. That's a fact. Wait a second. Does machines? I'm a turtle. I can't even do April, let alone machines. Uh, that makes no freaking sense. Wait up. Raphael is cool but rude. Give me a break. Michelangelo is a party, dude. Party! I shouldn't eat those five pizza before this, especially Domino's. Blah! <laughs> What up, big kids? Here's your big review. The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles classics, Leonardo, Raphael, Donatello, Michelangelo, six-inch figures from Playmates Toys. First off, I have to thank Playmates Toys for sending me these figures for me to review for you guys. I really appreciate it. Let's take a look at the packaging. As you can tell, it's reminiscent of the original Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles packaging from the 80s and 90s. The classic collection says there on the top corner. It says, inspired by the original team, NT animate series 1988 34 points of articulation awesome and you can see here all four turtles are on the front of the packaging with their namesake like Leonardo or Raphael right here looking mean and green Donatello right there and of course Mikey back here uh, has a little bio about the turtles uh, where they came from about the cartoon and uh, how they were created feel free to pause and read the bio a nice picture of all the turtle brothers right there look for all the classic collection turtle figures hopefully we'll get splinter shredder april uh, foot soldiers even Bebop and Rocksteady, cross my fingers. I also love on the top of the bubble, it's a city sewer right there. It's really cool. I really love these pa this packaging. Men and Steel Box collectors will absolutely love these. I also find it funny that only Raphael and Michelangelo have a warning label. Are Leonardo and Donatello that more responsible? Warning, Raphael and Michelangelo might make you choke. Actually, the reason for it is because Raphael and Michelangelo's weapons are tinier than Leonardo and Donatello, so I can see why they have a warning label. Time to do this review in the half show. Turtle power! And here we got the Ninja Turtle. Turtles Classic Collection Turtles! Oh my god, these figures are freaking amazing! It, oh my god, it's about time we got these. So let's take a closer look at the turtles. Let's start with the leader, Leonardo. Now Leo has an awesome head sculpt. Now these guys all share the same body, hence why I'm doing the them all in the same review and um but that's just like how the original turtles were they were pretty much repaints of each other now each turtle um you know has a different head sculpt though and of course has the colors that matches their 80s cartoon counterpart leo has like kind of shown his teeth on one side look now the belts are all what makes them different leo has a bandolier uh, has the l right there um, I really do like the color and the plastic that Playmates used on these turtles. Um, and of course they have holster for his swords which I'll get into. I even like the blue um, bandana sash over his sheaths. I really like that a lot. The shell looks great. Love the design there. It definitely looks just like their 80s counterpart. Um, some people will say it, it could use some more paint shading. I'm not a nitpicky Ricky and I think I like the uh, overall colors it's kind of like with the masters universe classics or whatever it's like you know i i want them to look like they do in the cartoon like if i want them to look like in the movie or the comics i'll get more shading but like to me i think this is the right amount i i like the paint a lot um, i like the look a lot and the bat you know i love that each the colors of it the knee pads and elbow pads are blue and everything so yeah, the body uh, that they use on these turtles, I like it a lot. So let me show the other brother. Raphael is my favorite Ninja Turtle, and he has my favorite head sculpt. He definitely has the meanest look, showing both teeth. And I just like his look of his bandana. And his belt, he has a holster, holster for his size on the front with a big R right there. And like I said, the only difference uh, besides the belt is, of course, his elbow knee pads being red. And his skin tone being a definitely a little different um, shade from his brothers, but that's how all of them are, just like the original uh, turtles were. Donatello's head sculpt has him showing his teeth on his uh, right side uh, with a kind of frowning face. His eyes, uh, some people said his eyes are a little weird. Um, I can see that they've been a little weird, but I don't think it's too bad. I think um, he might be slightly cross eyed, but not too bad, I don't think. He also has the bandolier over his um, shoulder and the D right there. The purple, I really like the purple uh, on him that they use, very cartoon accurate. And of course he has a slot 
or his bow staff on the back, which I love that they have really nice weapon swords for um, each of the turtles. And of course his green, um, definitely different from his brothers. Last but not least is Mikey. Now Mikey doesn't show any teeth. I do wish that he had a more happier, happy-go-lucky party head sculpt. I do agree with that, but like I said, I still like him a lot and you know, he's in his attack mode I guess but even then you know but I do like the orange on his um, elbow pads and knee pads and everything he has this big M right there and he has slots for his nunchucks which I'll get into I love his nunchucks and they fit perfectly on this back just like on the show and like I said uh, greens um, definitely different from his brothers for articulation each of the turtles are the same they have uh, heads that fully rotate and they do go up and down a little bit no um a uh, hinge for it but so it doesn't go that much but still pretty good arms fully rotate they do go in and out they rotate at the bicep uh bend at two points of the elbow um, the wrists fully rotate and he, uh, they have individual finger articulation. They only have three fingers, but still that's pretty badass. I like it so you can have them post plus the thumb like rotates in a way. So it, it, I, I really like it a lot. Uh, what's also great, you have upper ab articulation. Raphael's uh, size kind of get in the way right here. So, but yeah, they can go uh, like do an ab crunch forward and back and go side to side no waist articulation but i don't you know i never expected them to really have waist articulation when they're on a freaking chill you know but whatever <laughs> the legs go forward and back in and out rotate at the upper part of the leg bend at two points at the knee the ankles pivot forward and back no ankle pivot side to side but they do fully rotate because they're on like ball joints and they do have individual toe articulation the joints are pretty good for the most part they are stiff there could be some looseness over time so beware especially with the arms and holding the weapons but still i love the articulation each of the turtles comes with their signature weapons like leonardo comes with his katanas that have blue wrappings on the handle which i really like and they're made of a nice uh, durable plastic not they won't have any warpage issues like the thundercats bandai you know sort of omens by the way if you want leonardo's um sheaths are removable here they have a peg and also all their belts are removable so if you choose you can take it off but it looks kind of weird especially because there's going to be like a big you know like a little slot for it so you definitely want to keep the belts on but they are removable if you uh, choose them and leo looks pretty badass with his katana blades Raphael, of course comes with his size uh with red wrappings on there and this nice gray plastic but very durable what's cool about Raphael is that you can have him hold them like in between the blades like he did in the cartoon or you can have him just hold it regularly on the handle so i like that because of the finger articulation you can do that and donatello comes with his bow staff which is very cool definitely looks like has a wood feel to it and also with the wrappings on there in white instead of purple i really like that here him holding his bow looks very badass and mikey comes with his nunchucks which are the most awesome because finally finally we get metal chain nunchucks we've been wanting these for years oh my god this just makes it so much better than the plastic ones they're not stuck in that kind of you know always in that pose you can you know hit foot soldiers around now. I really like that playmates use the real metal chain. It's such a welcome addition. It just looks so much better with the metal ones. There's so many more posing opportunities. Besides their weapons, each turtle comes with a nice stand that looks like a sewer uh, cover. It says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has their name plus two pegs for their feet, which is a very nice at the stand so you can keep them in dynamic poses. You have Raphael. I really like the paint on here too. It has that cool like sewer film Michelangelo and uh, Donatello just peg it um, down into there and it works really great at keeping your turtles standing and you can keep them in a very dynamic pose without worrying about them falling you turtles can't stop me I'm the shredder oh yeah shredhead we're heroes in a half show and we're green you evil shredder when you attack us turtle boys won't cut you no slack are you turtles gonna actually use your weapons on me or are you just gonna make puns all day dude we're on a kid show plus we learned all our puns from the best watching Batman and Robin 
Oh god, please, don't quote anything from that movie. Hey Shredhead, you can't take us to the cooler. I surrender, I surrender, I surrender. Cowabunga! Size comparison time. So you can see I'm comparing the turtles to a lot of the different figures. Uh, they're in great 6 inch scale. They're in scale with Marvel Legends, DC Universe Classics, the 6 inch Thundercat Classics, if we ever get any more of those. Um, slightly smaller, um, but pretty much to scale to He-Man, like Master of the Universe Classics. You can see how much bigger they are than uh, the basic uh, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle figures from Playmates, or the classic uh, turtle figures that they came out in the 80s. You can see how much bigger they are, and uh, compared to Marvel Universe figures. Now, if you've been longing for the definite versions of the classic Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the cartoon, these are it, hands down, Playmates hit a home run with these figures. They look amazing just like how they looked in the cartoon. You know, Minus would maybe have some more happy-go-lucky or face fest on Mikey. Um, the articulation is awesome. Sure, uh, you might have to worry about uh, joints loosening over time, but that's like with any uh, toy line, you know, Marvel Legends, uh, DC Universe Classics. Um, really, the weapons uh, are exactly what they should be look like uh, with the turtles. I love the stands. Um, these will retail for about 15 to 18 bucks at retail, which I think is totally worth it. Like I said, I think these are probably my favorite versions of the Ninja Turtles out there, hands down, even more than the NECA ones, because I love the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle cartoon growing up. I That was my favorite version of the turtles. I love the movies, uh, the comics, uh, everything, but um, the 80s, 90s cartoon was my favorite hands down and these are, uh, like I said, if you love the cartoon, you must own these. These are that good. They're just, I absolutely love them. Um, even if you don't uh, like that version of the cartoon, you prefer the 2003 cartoon or you want, you know, you like the movies or the comics one, these are still great. They're super posable. They're super fun to play with. The, they look great on your shelf and I... Uh, Playmates toys, I can't thank them enough for sending me this to review. Abs I absolutely love these. These have the fun factor, hands down. These win, like I said, uh, they're durable and everything you can want in a Ninja Turtle toy. I highly recommend them. For more geek news reviews and more, check out BKBN.net. I'm Sean Long, member of Celebrate Your Newham in a big way. Go to BKBN.net! Go to BKBN.net! Go to go. Go down. Hey bros, we defeated Shredder. Time to order out some pizza. What do you want on your pizza? Chicken and peanut butter on mine, Leo. Banana and broccoli on mine, bro. Tangerine and pastrami for me, broski. Actually, you know what, bros? I think I'm gonna order sushi like Master Splinter. <laughs> Are you serious, bro? That is the grossest thing I've ever heard. Ew, sushi, ew. Who would ever eat that junk? How about a radical rat that could kick your ass so know your role and shut your mouth?